Hi, this is Chuck Burst coming to you from New Tech, and today we're going to be talking about width change of coil. Uh, anytime you change coil widths, and today we're going from a 22 inch coil down to an 18. Uh, the first thing I like to do is go to the exit of the machine and remove the shear die. Uh, the right side stays the same on the machine all the way through on your width changes. We're only changing the left side. I always do the dies first because I never like to do it last in case we forget. Um, I've had people say they've crashed it. So just to make sure we cover that, we take them off and I lay them right here on the tailgate. So what we're gonna do is, we're, like I said, we're going from 22 to 18. I always like to say, first thing to take off, last thing to put back on. I'll go ahead and get this removed. So let's go on back here to the entry into the machine. Again, the right side, you don't have to do anything with, uh, with on a coil ch with change, because it all stays the same. We're just moving that side there. So here's my panel width, and you can see when I put this in here that we're absolutely too wide. So I'm gonna set this up in here. We're gonna go ahead and loosen the guide. And, uh, and, and just to reiterate, this is the entry guide with notching. So we're gonna get this moved over, get this set for width. We're going to tighten this back up, and without the notching, it's uh, just a couple of handles you got to loosen and slide. It's a little more simpler and easy to get to. So after we do the width change, we go ahead and remove our material, and we're going to get our crank here opened up where we can turn it, get it set, and if you want to look over here you can see how far out we are we're going to crank it in and we're going to do the ss100 setup so we need to crank it all the way in until we get to that black dot to the ss100 setting okay so now we've changed the entry guides we've moved the rail over so then what we need to do is load the coil in it and then we're going to go up and adjust the beads uh, as we run the material through the machine. And then after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and load the guides. Okay, so I went ahead and put the cover back over the notcher uh, so we have good coil. Uh, we don't damage the coil going over. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the material up over here and cut the corners. We cut the corners just so the corners don't hang up on anything and I've said it a couple of times, uh, two inch by two inch, three by three is adequate. We're gonna pull the material on back here. Set it up for the entry guide. Entry side. The left side set up there. Go ahead and pull us some material. Go ahead and load it up in there. Make sure we hit the roller. Now we'll go ahead and start the machine and go ahead and feed the machine up. Let's go ahead and lock this back on here for safety purposes. We have the control switch here to where you got the forward and reverse. So we're gonna go ahead and load the coil up. We get that running up here this way a little bit. And we've taken the cover off and we're in maintenance mode that you can see. And we're running it from here. So when we bring it up, bring the material up, just pass the last roller. And then we can go ahead and set our guide. So we're gonna turn this off, unplug it, turn the power off. That way when we stick our hands in there, we're not gonna have issues. Let's go ahead and loosen them all. That way we can move them around. So these are your adjusters here. And then pressure adjustments, this bolt right here. And we're gonna play with that too. Cause right now I got it set in uh, no B mode. I got it backed all the way out. So let's see what measurement I get. I'm gonna take down in here. It 
should be about right there. And after I adjust that, I go ahead and line this up. And the easy way to line these up is just line the edges up, either the rollers or the side of this, and you're gonna be really close to having your beads set up properly. And again, when you measure your width, you can do the whatever width you're running, 16 or 18, divide it by three. You can put some marks on it on the panel and then go ahead and set up that way. Let's go ahead and tighten this one here up. We're gonna move the bottom over to where it lines up on the sides. And I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this right here. I loosen this one, I'm gonna set my pressure. By turning this, you can see the eccentric cam it turns on that. So we can loosen that and bring that one around to where it's almost touching. Normally we can set this at about a 40 thousandths gap. Let's see here, then we'll run the panel through it and then we can adjust it a little bit further. So after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and plug it back in, start it up, run the panel through. And get that set up and then go on up to our shear dies and get the shear set. Start it up again. And we have, looks like we got adequate pressure in our, well, it looks like we're pretty divided pretty good. So then we're gonna bring our panel on up here. And some people like to set the die up here first. I like to run it out and set the exit die first. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it out a little bit. Then we're gonna shut the machine back off. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the exit die Get it set up, lined up pretty good, and then we're going to go ahead and get our bolts in here. And again, you don't want to be sticking your fingers through the machine. Uh, you don't have to do it on the exit, but on the other, the uh, entry side die, you want to go over the top and in, never through the blade area. So we're going to go ahead and get the bolts in here. And we're going to look at the alignment. And on this one here, the blade comes down and shears that way. So we want to make sure the back side is supported a little bit so it doesn't damage it. After we get that set, we're going to go ahead and tighten it up. And I'm going to start it up, shear it, back it up a little bit, and then go ahead and put the other die on. So after we put the, the uh, exit die on, uh, that's the way I like to uh, do it that way and then I go ahead and back up uh, put this in reverse and again we're in maintenance mode we're going to back the material up just enough to where we can get our hands in there and play with it and then we're going to go ahead and shut everything off and then we're going to put the entry die on and again we're not reaching through the shear we're reaching around the back side over the top. So we're totally out of the way of the shear, dot, shear blades themselves. So we'll go ahead and get this bolt started. And once I've got that exit one lined up, back it up and go ahead and get this one put on and then we can set it evenly. And with our wrench, we can go ahead and adjust this. And normally when you set them pretty even, you're gonna get it really, really close to where you're not gonna have any issues rubbing or scraping with your paint. And you're gonna run pretty clean there. That's it for the width adjustment. If you have any other questions, uh, contact us at NewTech or look uh, for us on our website.